Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, wherever in the world you're watching, either live on the Twitch or on video on demand. Hello, welcome in. I am Lord Teamaker on behalf of the Game One Pleasure podcast and content creators. And yes, no, this is not the usual. Hey guys, I'm here on YouTube. Come support, like, and all this subscription. Well, you can do that on the video on demand channel. Ding. Please do. But no, this is this is Assassin's Creed Saga. This is Assassin's Creed Odyssey Part 14. This is Fluffy Hair. And this, we're just about ready to get underway. It's 2 o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon. I hope you're all well. So let's get it on. Hi, Michael. Uh, how am I coping? Um, I mean... I can't, I can't say bad. I can't say bad. I mean, how are you? Thank you for that, dude. Thank you for those. Um, I mean, I watched... There was a documentary on BBC last night uh, from Horizon called Toxic Town, Corby's Poisoning, um, which I watched not long before putting the stream set up. It's quite a harrowing documentary, really. It's about... In the 70s, uh, well, in, from about 1936 to 79, we had a big, huge steelworks in, in Corby. This is what helped run the town, the steelworks. Over 50% of the population were working at the steelworks, okay? So Thatcher Fat, closed it down. Now, in the sort of transition between the steelworks and now, after they chucked them all down, you know, knocked it all down to the point where it is now. They were trying to do, like, regeneration of the town. Hi, Robin! And so during this, they were moving the waste, and some of it was toxic, which was knocking, like, little particles into the air. And it was those particles around about, it looked like 96, that pregnant ladies were breathing them in. And it was causing birth defects. It was causing limbs to not grow properly. So it was about those. It was about those families and them getting compensation from an incompetent council. It would say it's quite harrowing. But also one of the film bits, the little film reels with the men marching, had my Uncle Ray in it. <laughs> Which is like, that's how I found out about it because um, his daughter, my cousin, was on, on Facebook last week. I ah! Thank you very, very much for 26 months of Assassin's Creed Odyssey hype from JT. Thank you so much, dude. You're a wonderful, wonderful human being, you. Yes. Good afternoon, everyone. Right, so... Oh, so I've got to remember where I was going in this. I mean, lady in a dress. Like, gather information about your mother. That's what we got to do. Yeah, a bit too harrowing for you. I mean, I was living through that era. I mean, you know, there's areas of the pictures you'll see from my old house in the areas where the little drones are flying over. It's like, wow. Yes, How you doing, JT? How you doing, drop in? I've had my fill. Perhaps later. First, explain to me your point again. Thank you for the bits, Michael. So assassinate those creeds. Yeah, I'm not bad, I have to say. A new face in Pericles is a bone. Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. So just what watching that documentary last night was very harrowing. I call it the Orange Ape. Tell me, what does it think? You see the two little lakes, two little ponds that were shown. Rob and myself used to play around there. I am called many things. It isn't one of them. What do you call yourself then? Creature of many names? Cassandra. All right. Hmm. I wouldn't peg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes. And this man is 
every pedis. Oh, go on. Introduce yourself. I'm every pedis. Okay, try that. Playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old every pedis back to bed, likes though. to say. Don't you every pedis? Now, if you'll excuse us, I was just about to dazzle this old dog with my impression of Pericles. I call it the wooden board. The man is your host. Under every stone hides a politician, I always say. And Pericles is no different. <laughs> right, okay, we need to find the information out about my mother. Like, how do, how do we meet your mother? And you've gone back to bed, eh, Robin? Oh, 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 I say. Oh, look at this, look at this sticking up at the back here. Hang on, there we go, let's get that sorted. <laughs> right. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. <laughs> dollar, dollar. Michael, thank you for the bit. I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with every pedis. I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that will help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to every Pedis. She's the second most worldly man here. That Pedicle, Xanthodontus, Exotalmic, more so. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. So, we get him drunk and he talks. He sounds more Argive than Athenian. Impressive, foreigner. Every Pedis is from Argos. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every Pedis is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I'm the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every Pedis, lover of Asclepion, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. <laughs> if he was hiding in the fridge, I'd call him Boris. You're awfully worked up over every Pedis. You sure we're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner, though I confess. Every Pedis and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with that banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. He's from Argos. They make people... They, I tell you, Argos has really leveled up in the past year. I'll get the wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Well, you know, unless of course they uh they make then they do like bitch bry and stuff, you know. Except for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests here here. Can I help you with something? And if you are sweet wine. I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. Because, you know, bitch Brian. Actually, right, right I'm going to pause that a second because it was... Right, if we had, let's say, a bitch lard, he could go out and do all the stuff that, that I'm not allowed to do, right? Like shop for mum, get, get the prescriptions. And then if he goes... If he just sort of after, you know, we send him back out into the world and just go was into the puddle, job done. I'm safe. You guys are safe because bitch bitch lad doesn't have any viruses. It would work. We just need Argos to get me one now. Or or we're actually now a six pack. 
Mm. I like this idea. I, do, I like this idea. <laughs> it's a bit slug be Oh, hello. Uh, yes, slug, I set up your PC for you. Uh, please, could you uh, do that first? Because you know, uh, right. Oh. <laughs> it's come back for more. Care to see my impression of Protagoras? I call it the flapping bladder. <laughs> Flap your I'm bladder. Sure she wouldn't. When I need to relax, I start a fight. For you, though. Quickly, bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. You and Aristophanes could both use a drink. Let's play a game. A competition? Ah, wonderful idea. Every PD seems quiet, but he never turns down a challenge. Well, if you brought us some wine, I wouldn't be opposed to showing this young one how we argue, Stink. <laughs> Flapping bladder, no thanks, mate. <laughs> We should have clone to go out and make money for it. Exactly. Robin gets it. Pericles has invited all of you here for some reason. Either we dine here and praise Pericles, or we dine with Cleon. But Cleon has all the charm of a typical politician. A horrible voice, bad breeding, and vulgar manners. Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? Go on then. Let's conjure Dionysus, shall we? This, this is pure swill, amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the gods. Another round. Ready for more? Let's get him completely for schnickered. Yeah, I can hardly stomach this pig's piss. I could out drink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more. You ready for another? Drink! Drink it! <laughs> this wine is terrible! You, I like you. <laughs> who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every penis, right or into a plague. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepius for his divine pity. I should know, it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. In the if head she office. went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates Are we karaoke? Here I come. Very, 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 very good. I only use the terms war or guard or civility in the context of what can be observed. So I can observe soldiers fighting, but does that bring me any closer to understanding war? I haven't seen you around before, citizen. Perhaps you'd like to spare me conversing with this man of nonsense. Sure, we can talk. What about? Before Protagoras changed the subject, we were talking about the next great leader of Athens, Cleon. So, this early part's going to be a lot of this, so I'll do this. Okay. 
唔該，唔該。I saw Cleon speaking at the Pnicks. He's a real man of the people. So, you have a taste for politics. That's certainly better than most of the elitist blowhards in this house. I take it you and Pericles aren't friends. Hardly. Ephnippos led the charge to have Aspasia ostracized and to see Pericles stripped of power. Not that it worked. Yet, Pericles is the past. He's more worried about losing a few precious statues than he is fighting and winning the war. Cleon will rule this city and return it to greatness. Mark my words. Why isn't Aspasia here? Can you be certain she isn't? To observe her presence is still no guarantee that she is here. In my opinion, just like her to cower in the shadows while we stand out here in the light. If you're an ally of Cleon, why would Pericles invite you? We're not from Athens, outsider. Here, we keep our enemies closest of all. So I can stab him in the back. I'm looking for clues to help me find a woman. She was Spartan. Looking and finding are quite different things, wouldn't you say? I could observe a priest offering sacrifice to the gods, but does that mean, in so doing, that I have myself found God, or...? Oh, forget it. This has been useless. Here. <sighs> yeah, you useless pair of bastards. <laughs> right, let's someone's out here that we may speak to. Someone's being hurt. Open this door or I'll kick it in! Oh, 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 don't, don't mind her. She likes to watch. Um. Neil, look at you. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. <laughs> Sounds like quite the party. I thought this party was tame, even by Athenian standards. Until now. Let them have their meeting of the minds. I'm more interested in meeting other parts. Ali, we're out <laughs> of oil again. <laughs> Ali? You know they like you when they give you a pet name. There's more olive oil in the kitchen. But Aspasia keeps complaining about me walking unencumbered through her symposiums. You mean naked? Mm, it sounds so good when you say it. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons. These men worked the war. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? To get the information we need. Time for some fun. You'll have to help me strip off these uncomfortable Athenian robes. Gladly. If you like, we can feed them to the goat. There's another goat? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> that was quick. Now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. 
focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But uh, let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd uh, earn her independence. <laughs> Am I right, and Lance? most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. <laughs> it looked like a minor orgy with two goats chanting. <laughs> I picked what you did, man. Have you recovered from the utter disgusting filth that was slime matches last night? Yetera. I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force. And the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anfusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anfusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty disgusting flouting social distancing rules. Jesus Christ, you've ruined my lovely wholesome stream, you monsters! <laughs> Hello, Husky! How you doing, man? Welcome in! Right, well, uh, need to get out of here and then change clothes and then see what quests we're up to next! Of this one, of course. How's every peevis? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every peevis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, Tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. <laughs> I mean, the tar are real monsters. We <laughs> were very innocent. I think we were so, so innocent there. I mean, I had to, you know, escort Princess Confidence out. You know, her, her, her ears, they couldn't take it. who agrees that knowledge is most important. I think we agreed. Her use of that knowledge couldn't be more different. Ah, you remember. Perhaps our conversation can continue. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? You have been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rules. Where better to do so than here? I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasima Hossu. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient, and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! That's actually a good question, especially in this time of time. Of I mean, I joked about some of the names. You guys came up with me, but I don't want to repeat it if I can help it. <laughs> so, rules, the rulers are supposed to be there set up to help the people. By the people, for the people. I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life, self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, 
Doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said the general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never tried to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. <laughs> You're talking your shit. Aspasia. It's like, what? What? I couldn't help but notice your talents for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. My life. <laughs> well, now, shit. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Nazarius. <laughs> You've inspired her, yeah? I did what I had to, and I'd do it again. I make no apologies. We do what we must to survive, and there is no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. <laughs> I'd be more comfortable in these clothes if I had a blade in my hand. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now and do it discreetly. Heading off for some on online work chat. So. I think back in a bit. No worries, dude. No worries. You can go full lurk if you want. I've been searching for a woman named Irene, my mother. I think she may be in danger, and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good Bottom man. Some chairs. If you find a woman named Agathe there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. <coughs> That's all Mostly. I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guest. Okay, then. We'll have to go find us the stairs. He's up there somewhere. He's up there. <laughs> I thought she was going to go after the A-team there. And add from Will Smith. <laughs> or not, as the case may be. <laughs> right. Oh, fancy stairs. Cassandra, I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Be 
Baby did nothing wrong. Aspasia asked her to let me in. Ah, uh, of course she did. I can't say I'm thrilled about going down and speaking to everyone. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Herodotus and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> he loves the sound of silence. Why send the Matiochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. Buenos dias, señor. Good afternoon, Jill. How are you doing, man? Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Herodotus was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The bunch of cults. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming. And they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to her, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm... related to one of the cult members. And I believe him when he says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. The time it will definitely tell. So leave the symposium. Does that mean I get my proper clothes back on and we can continue on this game? Because we've been, what, over half hour now in this place, in this parte. <laughs> Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need the weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You'll get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? There's a woman on the island of Chaos that I need to meet. I think I'll head there first. I've heard there are pirates there. I'll be sure to be careful. Good. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened, okay? Okay, thanks. I knew I could count on you. That's because she has an abacus. Not going to beg to come along this time? <coughs> no, nope. I'm happy Coffee. here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. 
I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Cassandra. Right. So that's just done another. So multiple quests accepted. Trophy hive. Oh yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. Right. Now let's now let's get to the abilities. Let's see what abilities we have. Now I was going to put the rest on here, wasn't I? Oh, I need spear level five. Upgrade available. Level two of six. Second melee ability wheel unlocked. And a Sparta kick can be better. So let's do that. Let's have a look at the mercenaries. Still, Testicloss is not here. Very disappointed. So very, very disappointed. Right, so we got him to do, him to do. So let's see what quest we can do because we want to do stuff. Uh, okay, so for a six. <laughs> PSM notifications, I really looked for my PSN, my PS4 is off. You must be in self isolation. <laughs> I like it. Right, we're gonna go try and go upgrade the spear. Obstruction. Then what dive for? So we can do these actually. Support quests. Two out of three. Oh, we can do that one actually. Get another quest done. Before we upgrade the spear. I think that'll work. Inventory you can wait to do. I mean that's handy. That's very handy. And also, as it's uh, the Tuesday, we're the second day into the week of my uh, streams. And tonight, we start another classic. But we start it, well, I start it, using mouse and keyboard. So this is going to be fun. Uh, it is the original Splinter Cell. Oh, yes. If it works. I'm glad to see you, halfling. I didn't think you would be. The path I set you on is fraught with danger. You could have been killed or given up. No danger could have kept me from seeing you again. Maybe you're getting ahead of yourself. Maybe. <laughs> Behind of Kerinea's pelt. I remember being awestruck. When I caught a glimpse of her through the trees long ago. It was an honor to hunt such a noble beast. For all the suffering and death I've seen, when you see something as magnificent as this, words escape me. <laughs> Artemis was right to bring you to me. A warrior's heart beats within your chest, yet it is tender of my kindness. I'll 
return when I have more pelts. Yes. Ah. I mean, the good thing is, we are getting quests complete, and that's good, right? That's that's what we wanted to see. Uh, so we will go to do the uh, upgrade the sphere. Which is next. Have a quick look at the inventory. Oh yeah, do you also want some good news as well? In this world of being a bit shit, well, we have to deal with an unseen force. Yeah, they're time commissions, we don't want those. Uh, so, Sphere. I get across there? Can I? I can. Ancient Forge. Boom! Yeah, I have some good news. I have some good news. Hang on. If I can reach across. Oh, I can. You're hearing a breaking up of something. Some more of iron brew. And, uh, no, I haven't started playing yet. Don't worry, you're not missing a thing. She's just standing there doing bugger all. As we do this for the first time in a couple of months. Uh, as you can see there in the background. Twinkies. So yes, the Barbru has returned. I would say always right with the world, but really isn't. people dying and being very ill because of this feckin' virus. completed today that's really cool we could hit like we could hit level 20 today that's got those three to deal with we've got that main mission bit to deal with not going to do that yet uh there's a couple of level sevens wasn't there so we've got four of seven so we need three more of those Friend worth dying for. Well, 
Let me go for that. <laughs> Hello, Ali. <laughs> yeah, happy lockdown day. Oh. Right, could I come out here first and then go over there? Let's try that. Ooh. There's a quest to find there. Citizenship test. <laughs> then let's pick that one up. Oh, really? Burning shit. <laughs> Just wait for the announcement from Boris for an annual Hunger Games. No, 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 no. That's that. That's not true yet. Boris said he can use the powers to get the police to enforce it if people now still flout the rules. Yeah. Right, so let's pick up that one. The prisoners on the plains of Achilles in Skyros. Okay, so that's what, that's coming across those bits. Okay, so we can't really do those unless we go across them and, and look those out. So they'll be as and when if needed. I can be dispersal orders if needed for that. Which I mean you can understand them doing it. I mean China's on the on the other side of it now, coming out of it. Their restrictions are gonna to start to be lifted in a couple of weeks. You know, April third, so a week Friday. South Korea. It's starting to look good with it in terms of getting over it. Italy's deaths have started to, and cases have started to slow down, which is good. They are, but from what I heard last night, if it was true, Trump's reopening stuff again in a couple of weeks. <laughs> oh my. Do some upgrading. Yeah, which sounds stupid. Oh, hang on one second.
Hello, Moon Princess. Sorry about that. That was an important phone, phone call I had to take about tomorrow. So I do apologise about that. That was an important phone call. Thank you, Michael. I did, Moon Princess. You okay? I got Disney Plus. Hey! Is it working? Whoop, 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 whoop. Talking in circles may work on others, Socrates, but. No, <laughs> no. Ah, cheers, dude. So there's a hospital ringing me about tomorrow. I'm not gonna get those. Let's wait and see. Don't want to fight them. <laughs> they're too, they're too strong. I need to stay hidden. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll leave off that mission for now. I'm trying to pick that up. We've got working gummy bears, Chip and ah, oh, Chip and Dale. Big shielding car. Only bad thing is watch. This only holds fifty. Or just play play them through. Alright, to find a girl. Chris can't do that yet. So you can't do all those yet until we until I go looking for them, unless I do go looking for them. Do, uh, no, let's not do that one. It's level 22. We don't want that one. Free the captain. Well, chests of glory there as well. <laughs> yeah, let's do this one. Let's do the liberator. See, it's hard to find which one you really want on this. It really isn't. The, the, the quest structure is not brilliant. It really isn't. But the important thing is, Moon Princess, does Disney Plus have DuckTales? Woo! Does it? Does it? Good golly gosh, it's a Jada Breed. Good afternoon, Jay. How was the rest of your stream? Did you get a good run in? 
Welcome in Raiders. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you're new to the stream, I am Lord Team Maker on behalf of the Game of Let's Our Podcast and Content Creators, and this is me fannying about a bit on Assassin's Creed Odyssey. But I hope you're well, hope you're all good. Hope you enjoy Jay speedrunning. What? You know the sexual montage that I he is? <laughs> it's a dub raid! Dropped the only good run of the day in flying battery, but finished it off nonetheless. Oh man! It wasn't playing ball for you today at all, was it? Only held 50 shows, which I never do, so I was adding all stuff I liked and looking for it. So I realised I had to, had to delete stuff and make more profiles. It's got all DuckTales. I do DuckTales. Oh. And Mook! How you doing, Mook? Look at me with my big fuck off helmet. You're as good as well as can be. That's the only. Th That's the best thing we can be at the moment. But I'm glad you're okay. Did you see that? Bloody goat came out and came looking at us. <laughs> well, I mean, you've, you've missed me being at a party for about 20 minutes. I've completed little tiny beaky be bits quests. Tried looking for another one, but one's got jumped by a level 22 bounty hunter and his pet. Yeah. This is the first actual fight I've started on today. This. Need to learn from it. No worries. By post -stream, stream decompress. And again, no worries at all. Do what you need to do. Yeah. Soft leather. Not imperial leather, but soft. As I just, just, just have a bit of a lark about, really. You know, I found information on where my mother could be. Not, not my actual mother. My actual mother's downstairs. But listening to her music and having a, having a nice time, as best she can in this current climate. Yes, there's a chest there. I would like the chest. Seemed further down than what I expected, but that's okay. Also, I had to go for a chest first. Well, obviously, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a uh, public service announcement. If you get a chance to uh, touch a chest, open a chest, be, fair, be sure to make sure no one's around, or if it's, you know you see the person's chest, the owner of chest, please. Please, please, always get permission before going both hands. <laughs> hey, look at your plumage, mate. It's not bad. Fine, I'll carry it, let's go. Don't you go a second? I'll be right back. That's all right. Keep the shit out of this guy. Oh, 
god, you see that little butterfly go by? <laughs> With Roman rain sword. <laughs> That's not a chest. I thought it was. Oh, wouldn't it be funny if I'd have thrown him at him and it killed him? That would have been hilarious. <laughs> I'd have loved every second of that. It would have been, ooh, very nice. Outside of the quarry. Okay. Red down there. Because you know, it's helping him find an old dandy. But you've got to get a chest. Your way, this is a bit gory for you. No worries. <laughs> Thank you. I need to get to my ship. I'll reward you well. What ship? Do you have a ship? Yes. I came inland to meet an associate. You might have seen him. He enjoyed Spartan hospitality at the end of a rope. Yerimos? I was sent to rescue him. We can still complete the mission if you help me. Tell me who you are. Captain Onomaklis. I'm on an urgent mission. I need to get out of here. Spartan patrols could find us at any moment. Agreed. We need to get to my ship. I'll get you to your ship. Just point me in the right direction. Yeah. It's on the coast. <laughs> just south of Marathon Beach. Marathon Beach? What What's about so Snickers Beach? What's important about this ship? It's not the ship, but it's cargo. It must reach its destination. Then what's the cargo? I'm not ungrateful for your help. But it's better you don't know. Why is that? Just believe me. What we do is for the security and future of Athens. This mission must succeed. My Twix payment ship? relies on it, so trust me, it will. No, fruit pastels. There we go. See, now, at this point in the stream, I would ask what you guys have been up to this week. But I know... Uh, a tremendous amount of you would say one thing. I've been in my house. Because we're all not allowed to go anywhere properly now. Because of the chuffing bad thing that's going around in the world. Now. <laughs> so, I'm going to say, while you've been in... Have you been able to, to actually play anything? If you have, what? Have you got an achievement on it? Have you done trophies? Have you completed it? What are your plans for your backlog? And also tomorrow we should have a Tig Whippian 10 coming. For your ear holes, which will be quite controversial. I can say that with some guarantee. People will look and go, <gasps> You can't say that! So yes, <laughs> so look out for that tomorrow. Round, aren't I? Shiver my blue timbers. 
so we can go down this way, get to the beach, go across the beach. So first of all, there's a chest! Collectibles over here as well, so... And the guy just popped up and wanted to kick you. Just left me alone. They really could have just left me alone. They didn't want to though, and so therefore they had to have, you know, very bad injuries. Da, 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 da. Feels weird just running all over the place with someone on your shoulders, you know. <laughs> so, oops, it is it. Seems your crew met the same fate as you. I don't blame Yerim Sutok. Spartans lack the most basic empathy. Stay here. I'll kill the Spartans, destroy their ships, and free your crew. First of all, what I'll do is I will put you over here so you can have a good look at my killing let's pop them all up that's the boat we've got to take out as well the sound of your impeding death. Or incoming death. Huh? Impending, there you go, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, I gotta destroy that boat. Kill all these guys off first though. So, can't get this. Bye bye, soldiers, soldiers, goodbye. I believe we've already got these two left. Well, I should see what bruh! I yeah, come on, bruh! Well? Yeah, bro! Oh, 
right. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. Right, now, ship time. Let's go kick the shit out of this. It's like, all right, mate, you got a boat there. I don't think you want the boat anymore, do you? Funny, I can set fire to it around about, you know, just up here. Yeah, just, just around about here. Now plug a little hole right there. Chuck a bit in there, set it alight. These, you know, these will be very easily. <laughs> they love doing their Roman Reigns impression, don't they? me facing free at a bloody time. It gets another one, see? Where did you come from, you bugger? Because bloody Dora. It's almost like a Batman fight. In the Arkham series.
big fuckers left. Recruit. We're setting sail soon. Be there when we do. Good. Right. Now, how the hell do I get rid of this booger? Has destroyed a ship. Wait, what? Do I get my own ship and then destroy it that way? my ship that I can use to destroy it because if that's the case then yes please I'm going to go destroy this ship I'm not getting the jab. Maybe it's all what another uh, post stream done. Good, nice one, dude. Javelin ship because I believe that would help. What's happening? Well, I've taken out camp. I just need to take out the boat now for it. Actually, not available at the moment. I don't want Helix credits. That's bullshit stuff. Fuck off with that. Press and hold R2 to throw. Right, that's what that is. Okay. Hey, he done it.
Yeah, that's better. We, so we've taken the boat out that we need to. Just need to get out of the way, these fuckers. We should be okay. Like Lucha House Party. Ram the buggers! Ah. These ships, they're too big. They're too strong. They're too tough. I took out all the guys on the boat. Um, so they weren't a problem. It was just their mates just turned up and caused me to have a bit of a mischief. That's bloody hell. We're almost an hour and a half in. Where has the time gone? Do I have Ezio set yet on it? Um, I don't think so. That would be a bit tight for Cassandra, you know? Welcoming Christian. Did you find what you were looking for in Athens? A few clues. This won't be easy. Well, it's a good start. In the store. All we can do now is yeah, I'd have to go get it. In that case, then no, no, I don't at the moment. I'm not the only one looking for my mother. The cult that wanted Nicola is dead. They're also on my plate. You. you got that right. Welcome back. There's a message for you on the board. Yeah, the in-game store I'm not looking at at the moment. The Helix credits and all that bullshit. Well, welcome in, Christian. How you doing? Could it be my messages, Barnabas? I may have taken a peek. I posted the quest on the ship's port. I have a good feeling about this one. From dock the ship. Will I get it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I've got it for the other games. It's not hugely a big thing. This is in the warship! We should pull back! Uh, let's go talk to the captain. No, it's okay. Well, I'm fine. I'll find it if I want to. Thank you for the offer, but now it's okay. All legendary armor and swords. What level? What points are we looking at? You've done Athens a great service. On my return, I will make sure to acknowledge it. Well, you did mention payment. More than that, you will have earned the favor of some powerful people when they hear of what you've done. I hear it's useful to have powerful friends. The way the world is now. More than ever. Yeah, it's not going to be really I've much different enough. then to what I've got, so that's okay. Thank you again, Mistyus. I hope we'll meet again. Kick their ass. You kick their ass. Right, so I've just got to return. See, I don't really want to use my my horse here because look at the ground, it's not even. And last time I used the bloody horse, what happened? It decided to get stuck because it went, Oh no, there's no road here! Actually, I, just saw, I saw something shiny left. Yeah, I did. Metan! Actually, what I could do while I'm here, because I can actually see about getting my ship up. Right, okay. So can't upgrade that, can't upgrade that yet, can't upgrade that yet. Can't upgrade the arrows. Yes. Then you need to modify those. Alright, so the store's actually in where the, uh, the ship is. 
Welcome back, Bionic. How did it go? Right, so, it's 114 armor. The rest are like 99s and stuff like that. Don't really need them. So let's get rid. in here in my inventory I get a level 21 it's not bad but warrior damage compared to that that can wait at least there. see what bow I can get is a better bow 245 no definitely not 490 that can wait got that <laughs> how much sexy time have I missed you've actually missed one definite sexy orgy okay definitely missed a sexy party and almost a sexy one because I passed back behind to the lady but. so you have missed some sexy time Yeah, so the in-game store is going to be via your recruits area. Because I just saw that when we went into the boat fight. Paul is very techy and doesn't have a clue what they're on about. So what's your input? What's your input? Right. As much of my input as tomorrow's Tigwipian 10 that's coming out. <laughs> Zilch, nada, nothing, just not anything at all. The square root of feck all. <laughs> so that's normally my input with tech stuff. I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> See, because going as the crow flies here, it's just not very good. On a horse, it just isn't. <laughs> I was very helpful. Did you make the virtual tea for them? I should be careful. Yeah, all good working for my issues. <laughs> well, you know, if people aren't getting ill from a virus. Because while he was away, I got a, f um, a phone call from the hospital. And from the sounds of it, they've moved. No, but I've just made a cuppa. Nice. You cry, God. Yeah, I got a, a phone call from the hospital. They've actually moved where we're going to be treated. Um, <laughs> it sounds like they've moved us away from people. <laughs> so, which is a good thing. It's like around the side of the building, a fire escape, knocking the door for the fire escape will be there. Um, okay. Yes, I know bounty hunters are around. Yes. You can tell me this all fucking day. <laughs> They're very horny. <laughs> uh, please yourselves. <sighs> yeah, moving me to the car park. I've got to be in the car park, sitting in a chair, in the middle of nowhere. So no other fucker can come to us. They're going to put a cannula in by the pole. Almost like a dart. You know, like, search out for the vein. <laughs> oh, that's in bullets, prads, boards. Screaming in pain as blood just spurts out. Of <laughs> in one. Well, 
That's well played, nurse. You got yourself a dishwasher. <laughs> Love a bit of bully. We all like a little bit of bully. Especially when he was checking those words for you and was like, word he was looking for was abdicates. <gasps> Bloody Nova. Like the bottle just went pop. Yeah, three minutes to count 70 quid out. <laughs> It'd take me about three minutes. Jim, it's only 40 quid, what are you doing? It'll be trouble if I'm spotted here. It'll still take me about <laughs> two minutes. Any <laughs> 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 coppers? <laughs> Killing innocent people, but you know, they get in my way, they're gonna pay. <laughs> Fly down the canals in the fountain. Aspiration on his face. <laughs> so, there's the questions in sport. Who was the Tillywinks champion of 1924 after the First World War decimated the Belgium champion Ergel von um Umberblock? Well, we all sit there and go, What? <laughs> Archibald Quentin <laughs> Chapel <laughs> Lake, the third Esquire. 25 points! <laughs> your BFH, your boss fair home, has rapturous applause at the funny. <laughs> so, oh Jim, you scamp. Let's have a look at what you could have won. <laughs> Tell you what, Bully was a judging bastard. There were complications. In what way? Your messenger was dead by the time I arrived, but I was still able to free the captain, and the ship sailed. So, I still did the job. Ah, oh, poor Jerimus. But I should be thankful for your initiative. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't seem very concerned about poor Jerimos. Yep, Every that was struggle genuine. has its sacrifice. Jerimos played his part well. What's in Mitilini that's so important? People. We need as many allies as we can gather. This was more than I bargained for. You'll be amply compensated. You have done me and the people a huge service. 
One day you will see your part in this great work. Depends what part we see, eh? In her only assassin's page. Right, next. I mean, you can certainly ask. It's the eyes of Cosmos. We really need to track those three, don't we? I think with about 20 odd minutes we should track these buggers down. Or at least this one. Oh, it's that one. That one on its boat. Go on then. You murdering jokes. to hunt by night. Right, let's go back out there and let's go find this other cultist. See if we can actually kick their ass. Right. Even if, rather than me getting the boat, I swim. Which might have some played who's played the game already going, oh no, that's not good, you don't do it that way. It's like, I know, I'm not gonna wait to do it that way. I'm trying to find a way around. What would you guys think if I could run longer on streams in the afternoon? During this uh, time. Maybe do like a one to five on a Tuesday and Thursday. I mean, would you guys be okay with that? Would you be wanting that? Would you think, nah, don't worry, lad, just, you know. <sighs> you just stick to your times, it'll be all great. It's an awful idea. Why would anyone want to stream in that time slot ever? <laughs> Scribbles down like it's a stealing. I mean, it would get through this quicker. It give us more content on on the YouTube. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you can't stream then. Why not? Cause it's my time slot. What? See, I think it'd be a nice bit, you know, you start off with speed running. You start off with Jay and his speed running. About 11. You sit back, you know, you, you've had your breakfast, you think, well, oh, I've, I've not got much on today, so I'll, I'll, I'll enjoy Jay screaming. <laughs> You're just there after three weeks, you're like, Jonathan, 
Hmm. Have you not gone to bed, Jonathan? Hmm. Jonathan. Hmm. <laughs> See you right there, mate. <laughs> Face blast and slides screaming. Right. <laughs> Are you on that same game, Jonathan? <laughs> <laughs> Grunts. Grunts. <laughs> Yeah, stream it. Cha cha cha. <laughs> By the way, if you're not a patron of J Dubs, you should do. For one dollar. We'll see. <laughs> well, yeah, true. Mm. Oh, hey, hey, it tried. Uh, 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 hey, again. Yeah, I hope, I hope you enjoy it, because, yeah. It's just quite good, this. I, I think it's on PS4. Well, don't you know? <laughs> the console's there. I, uh, I, I see a box. And the game's been put in it, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, J-Dub has a Patreon. Um, for one dollar, uh, you can see the videos of the Adventures of Grunt. And it helps the man out a little bit. If you can. Also, while I am pimping other people in the John Robertson, you can actually roast someone. You can get him to video a roast at someone. There you go, shameless plug. And of course, April 19th, we are still doing episode 200, we are still doing 12 hours of crap games. I will have to compile that list again because I doubt I'll get my hard drive back before then. Especially now with the lockdown. See, there he is there. <laughs> Only six away from stream. Four seam stream you do. <laughs> nice. Right, if this is if this goes around in a circle. I had this bugger off at the pass. Well, Jay's not a fan. to get this guy. <laughs> We're probably not going to get this guy. <laughs> so I thought it was going to go in a turning circle, but obviously not. Okay. Utter, utter, utter past it, right? But oh, damn it, I just want a place where I can, you know, fast travel to. There's a boat there. There we go, do that. I 
do like the um, the demo, even if the uh, the battle system is a bit. Again, balance wise, you've seen the health bar go down. Not a huge fan of that. It seems they've taken away the uh, the leveling up abilities as well. And it'll be a hundred gig. Nice to see you, Commander. Right, let's spin this around and let's go for this bugger. <laughs> Apparently, if you can if you can smell a fart, you're too close. <laughs> Hashtag social distancing. <laughs> oh, oh, you smell a vulgar. Oh, oh no. Did you have to let it linger? Did you have to? Do you have to? Do you have to let it linger? Oh, I think you've just done a big poo. That smell really has to linger. Did you have to pull my finger? Did you have to? Did you have to? Did you have to pull my finger? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we haven't. Ready the oars. Come on, we've got a fight coming. Spin round, come on, let's get them. Keep up the speed. Bang. Boarding, here we go. Down. I know, Colts remember not that because he's running away. Yes! 
chest there. Big chest. Thank you very much. Oh, look at the size of that chest. I approve. I definitely approve the chest size in the ship. Assassin's armor. And the trophy! See if I can build up the ship a bit more. Not yet, not yet. Capacity size. See, I want to get more. It's not got more yet. Cultists. Need to give them details so we need to check him out. Let's uh, see the Sage's ship captain. Okay, so next one we'll be able to do is this guy, level 29. Lovely. Lovely big chest there, folks. Lovely, lovely big chests. like 420 on it, I need these. <laughs> Don't forget large, small chests need love too. Yeah, this is true, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> very, very true. <coughs> what the chest needs now love sweet love <laughs> so that's where cabin fever started already Let's get rid of these, we don't need these. Right. Okay, so. Quest time. Hello, Tracker, how you doing, man? Welcoming, dude. To find a girl. Hmm. Shall we go here? I think we should. Oh, collect artifact fragments. We've got five out of seven. We can almost go for another one. Right, so where is this? It's at about 6,000 meters away. Let's go have a look, shall we? I mean, we got a couple of minutes. Master! Arm yourselves! Full power! Taking losses! Someone get to those positions! Power in! Full sail! Yeah, we didn't need any more fights there. How you doing, dude? You okay? You having an okay day? Because I know news you had yesterday was quite shitty. Bad, to be fair, I'm really not bad at all. Um, so I had a, had a conversation with with Before hospital earlier. They found me to make sure I was still able to come over tomorrow. Fine, okay. The thing we'll do tonight, today then, is finish you off. Thank <laughs> you. 
I still want you to pay them. Even though you can't get business at the moment. Mercenary Slade. Let's get out of here. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> yeah, struck this dipshit. <laughs> Wait, ask. You could ask them. You could went, well, how do you want me to do that? With magic beans? The, uh, the money tree that the government said didn't exist. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> but where is this? No company is even for or bothered to think. Hang on, what sort of, you know, what if something like this happens? People are going to see more later. No worries, dude, no worries. You're back on tomorrow, I believe. I just think there's a chest here. My the chest signal is tingling. Maybe a false tingle. Yeah, it is. I thought it would be. No, mate, Thursday now. Oh, okay. No worries, dude. No worries. You take care. I shall catch you then. What is the time? It's four o'clock, but I'm not stopping, it seems. <laughs> but I need to stop because I need to test. I need to test, make sure the splinter cell works for later on. Yeah, I think from next week then, next Tuesday, um, until this whole mess is over and everybody's okay, 
that can be okay. We'll go Tuesday 1 to 5, Thursday 1 to 5, and then 10 to midnight, 10 to midnight. And look at you with all your mugs. Your bits mugs, that's awesome. Better stay hidden. We don't want to go into there just yet. No. I want to get closer to what's going on over here. Why can't I not? Find out what's going on, you know. Yeah, 3,000 meters. Let's see if I can jump across. There you are! In Corinth. Why can I not... Oh, am I in battle mode? Is that why I can't jump? I can't, um, yeah, fast travel jump through. Yeah. Fine, I'll get out of the quarry then. <sighs> I think I found my quarry. What? Jump across to it. So it. We need sound of my. Holy gosh, there seems to have been a motorcycle that's going by. very smart lad. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> At least the bounty bit's going down. They're like, oh, we can't be bothered to find her. <laughs> <sighs> One botch up. Yeah, it's a trip to any. So excuse me, I've broken my ankles. What did you do? Well, I tried taking a swan dive, but I didn't swan dive. I just jumped. And they'd be like, you do realise this is for emergencies, right? Is it not for stupidity? <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, we're level 20. Let's hope no one notices me here. I think they will notice you with your broken ankles. You go, oh. Oh, no. Sorry, doggy. I've captured guns in this area. That's quite nasty. That's, uh, you know, on a scale of one to ten, you know, nastiness. That's a uh, that's a twelve. Yeah, someone is here. What of it? Go on, doggy. 
Sorry, doggy. It's a chest, got to find an ancient bit. And that area's done. It's looking quite nice. Okay, so ancient bit I don't see around here. Or unless it's here. Now, I've got drachma though. Or oh, sorry, drachma. Hmm, okay, think I got it. Well, as much as it that I can get at the moment. Right, let's go finish this mission and then we can we can, we can depart for the day. Well, for the afternoon. Should I come back tonight at 10 pm for the start of Splinter Cell on mouse and keyboard? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, mouse and keyboard. I don't think I got a lot because it would have come up with a bit of XP for us there. Which is a shame, it's a real shame. But I've also, while I'm here, get my abilities. Keep f oh, I need level 5, we're only what, level 3? Yeah. Um, sudden shocking blast stuns surrounding enemies within 3 meters. Increase armor by 30%, yes, please. Why would I not want that? Because it won't allow me to do controller unless I set it up manually. So me stealthing with mouse and keyboard, this is going to be fun. Yeah, also, if you're finding yourself out a bit of a loose end, thinking, I, I know Lars are going to be on at 10, and I know Jay's going to be on tonight with, you know, some more Mario, and I know, I know there might be Liam on there with his uh, Dirt Rally, but I want something, I want something different. I want to do something different. And see some more stuff. Well, you can go to the YouTube channel of the Game of Play itself. We have a load of videos on there. Some big, some small. Yeah, PUBG, yes, <laughs> yes. Right. That was one of the last times I did with PUBG. But yeah, if you if you you know you're at loose end, you want to watch some video content. We've got plenty on there, including <laughs> Eternal, non-commentary, and also when I upload it at the end of the week, the uh, the commentary version of me talking absolute shit around it. So you've got that. You've got uh, Fall in Order. You've got plenty of stuff. You've even got. Half-Life 2 that James has rattled through. As I say, some big, some small. We got some little tiny bits of content, we got some big content. All for you to enjoy. Yeah, talking shit for the win. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, that was a nice little little bit there. That's a fall with flourish if you've ever seen it. Kibiaki said the Etera here could help me find my mother. I should look at Are you Antusa? Me? Antusa? I could be anyone for you, lamb. I charge less than the Etera. But do I ever know my way around a hay bed? So her name means something to you. Antusa? She's been around forever, but I never met her. I know the Etera all work as one, on equal footing, but Antusa's special. She talks, they listen. I 
I haven't met any Utera yet. The unbeliever you kill, they sell what a lot of us sell in corn. But for them, it's not just about the flesh. They're merchants of a sort, streetwise, can talk as nice as they look. Sounds like a good trade to work in. You don't want to be an Utera? Not in my prime anymore, am I, Miss Dios? By the time I study what they do, I'll be serving clients on my deathbed. If the Atera aren't here, where are they? They're sort of they the fag and mighty to be and be dealt with us. You want them, you will find them upon the hill. The Acrocorin. By the temple, keeping Aphrodite's worshippers satisfied. Right, okay. So. That bit we can do Thursday. So. I want to thank everyone for joining us this afternoon. It has been a tremendous amount of fun, I have to say. Thank you for the raids, Jay. Thank you, JT, for the resubscription. Thank you for the bits as well, to Michael for the bits. You're all very, very, very kind. Um. So yeah. So I will be back tonight. I do want to do want to get your opinion on something before before I do go though. Now tomorrow, you know, I'm going to be in hospital. Um for my next infusion which by the way if you do want to help uh, the charity that's a, that, that goes around Crohn's and Colitis UK you can do I'll post the link now for you guys uh, because on April 19th I will be doing a 12 hour charity stream for you with crap games in aid of these this wonderful wonderful charity if you can please donate to it that would be amazing if we hit £800 I am going to be doing a uh, vocal commentary on James's version of um, Doom Eternal. And on that, I will be his Yorkshire trader. Yep, the trader will come out. So while, while you're looking at that, I just want to ask your opinion on something. One second. Now, now, obviously tomorrow I'm having to go out, uh, which is goes against the guidelines of the NHS, but the NHS want me to go out. So, I've seen people wearing masks. I've seen people protecting themselves, right? Would it be, would it be good as a mask if I went like this? Because I mean, this would this would kind of protect us, I guess. <laughs> that is the short answer. What would I scare the bejesus out of people? <laughs> they go ah, <laughs> ah. Oh, phone's going back in a second.